A big hello everyone and welcome to Hastings Castle, East Sussex. Hastings Castle is a keep and Bailey Castle ruin situated in the town of Hastings. It overlooks the English Channel into which large parts of the castle have collapsed and fallen over the years. It's an interesting castle and a very famous one due to its connection with the 1066 invasion by the Normans. On landing his troops in nearby Pevensey in the year 1066, William of Normandy ordered three fortifications to be built. One was Pevensey Castle in 1066. The Norman castle builders reused the Roman Saxon shore fort of Anderterum to build that particular castle. The second and third castle to be built was here at Hastings prior to the battle and then Dover. Hastings Castle was originally built as a wooden Mott and Bailey Castle near the sea. Later that year, the famous Battle of Hastings took place, some miles to the north of Hastings Castle, in which William was victorious. In 1070, William issued orders for the castle to be rebuilt in stone, along with the St. Mary's Chapel. The Counts of Yew held the castle for most of the Norman period, beginning with Robert. But during King John's turbulent reign, he ordered that the castle be destroyed to prevent it falling into the hands of the Dauphin Louis. A few years later in 1220, Henry III, son of King John, refortified this castle. Tragedy struck again in 1287, when violent storms battered the south coast for months and the soft sandstone cliffs eventually succumbed to the elements. Large sections of the cliff fell into the sea, along with parts of the castle. Tragedy continued, and in 1339 and 1337, the town was attacked by the French, leaving many burnt buildings, which included homes. Throughout the next century, erosion was unchecked, and gradually more castle was lost to the sea. The castle was left to decay for more than 200 years when eventually the site was purchased by Thomas Pelham on 23rd of June 1591. The ruined castle and its grounds were used by the family for farming until the ruins had become so overgrown they were lost from memory. In 1824 the Earl of Chichester commissioned some archaeological investigation of the ruin. As a result of these, the chapel floor and parts of a chancel arch and walls were reconstructed out of blocks found lying on the ground. World War II brought even more damage as the castle received direct hits from bombing raids. 1951 brought a new chapter to Hastings Castle as the Hastings Corporation purchased the site and converted it into a tourist attraction. The castle is now open to the public between March and October. The castle today is a wonderful place to visit and you can learn more about Hastings and its 1066 story from many of the exhibits as you explore the site. To reach the castle at the top of the cliff all you need to do is take the Cliff Railway for an easy ride to the top. The Cliff Railway is another great location and an experience in itself. Well, Hastings Castle, everybody, is certainly a stunning ruin to explore. And if you've never been here before, I certainly highly recommend it. The views across Hastings are top are spectacular. And of course, the ruins are very cool too. There's plenty of information boards as you walk around and you can learn lots by just reading as you go along. So we have one just up here now and we're coming to it. So we're going to have a quick look and it hopefully will explain a little bit more 
about the area where we're standing in right at this moment. So let's have a look. Okay, so we're looking at the church. So we've got this board. The board is just behind me there. It says, the square tower to the left and the footings of another one to the right were probably not part of the original church, but were incorporated when the church was extended during the mid late 12th century. The walls and ceiling of the nave of the church would have been painted in bright patterns with coloured tiles on the floor. In front of the large arch, a richly carved and gilded partition known as a rood screen led to the high altar. And of course, there's plenty more information on this board for you to read and learn lots more. But we can have a little look at another one of the boards and see what it actually says. Okay, so we're coming up to one of the second boards. There's, there's, there's plenty here, but this one actually mentions about the keep and the dungeons. Now it says, the location of the keep, a large stone building used as lodgings and as a last line of defence, remains a mystery. Usually the keep would be on the mot, a mound of earth, but on this site the mot was not large enough or strong enough to have supported a stone building. Records show that a stone keep was built by King Henry II in 1171 or 1174, and some experts believe that it stood towards the southern edge of the site. William Herbert, who excavated the site in 1824, was convinced that he had found part of the floor of that keep, close to the edge of the cliff at that time. Unfortunately, this part of the cliff has since been removed, and there is now no evidence of his find. And the other section mentions about the dungeons. Within the passageway of the North Gatehouse was a doorway leading to the extraordinary dungeons. Although these tunnels and rooms have been used to house the occasional prisoner, the current theory is that they were mainly used for storage. One of the oldest remaining parts of the castle, the dungeons, were not rediscovered until the 1870s. Well, for a ruined castle. <laughs> Look at the views behind me, everybody. That's incredible, isn't it? And certainly, certainly worth exploring if you like historical sites. Go, 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 I don't think it matters which way you go down. Okay. Entering the dungeons, everybody, here at Hastings Castle. So what's interesting, everybody, about these actual dungeons is they have actually been carved out of the actual oh, wait, so you need to go to cliff. Two sets of yeah, we'll get to them in a minute. So they've, the Normans actually utilised the actual cliff whilst building Hastings Castle. Steps. Yeah, steps. Yeah. Going up, I Yana and I will leave you to enjoy the views of the English Channel in the town of Hastings below. This is a great spot to end this video and we thank everyone for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe 
hit the notification button, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment. Until next time, stay safe everyone.